Steve called me last night. Really? He's back. Funny, that makes four times in the past seven years. What does he want this time? It's not like that. He's changed. He's way more sincere. Let me guess. He made another promise, right? But this one means something. This is something I really want. Really? And when did he make this promise? Was it in person? No, it was while he was on TV. But he gave me that signal, the one that means he's thinking of me. Look, I know this might hurt your feelings. And that's the last thing I want to do. But I need to say this. He's just not that into you. But he told me he thinks I might be the one. If he really cared, you would be able to meet and hang out with other people, even people with different opinions, without worrying about whether he'll take it personally and have his friends humiliate you in public. That's not how you treat someone you respect. Well, it's not like I let him get away with it. I told him I didn't think he was being fair. And what happened? Did he listen and answer your questions? No. He was all passive-aggressive and said you were overreacting. And that time you found out he and his friends had totally lied to you, he completely brushed you off. Not cool. But he felt bad about that and took me out to dinner. It was lunch. And you told me that he asked if you could split the jab even though you only had a salad and he had the Alberta prime rib. And because he didn't want to break a 20 you ended up paying the jacks and leaving the tip. You always put more into this relationship than he does. But he's there when I really need him. It's just that he doesn't want to crowd me. He respects my independence. Really? So that time when you were working on a deadline and you had to stay home cause your kid was sick and he said he was too busy to pick up groceries he was respecting your ability to do things for yourself. Except then you found out it was really because he was going off-roading. But he bought me that watch for my birthday that he knew I wanted. Excuse me. He missed your birthday. You bought yourself the watch and gave him the bill. And aren't you still waiting for the money? But he's a little short of cash this year. He promised he'd give me the money when his debt is paid off. That is going to be four or five years from now. Besides... He is not so short of cash that he couldn't buy himself a new keyboard so he could play Beatles tunes with his garage band buddies. That cost him way more than your watch. But he says he respects my choices. Except for the time you're wanted to march in that parade with your brother and his boyfriend. But he's allergic to glitter. And anyway he had to go to a meeting. Look. I get it. It's hard to admit we're being taken for granted. But if he really cared he would do more than pay you occasional compliments while sitting in a brand new F-35 jet or during photo shoots. His promises might sound okay on television, but he only makes them when he wants something from you. Sometimes it just takes a real friend to point out the signs. When it comes to Stephen Harper, he's just not that into you.